Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. So this week we're gonna make a basic spring or summer wreath, but here's the kick. We're gonna make a fabric bow, and I grabbed something from the car section at Dollar Tree to make this happen. So make sure you watch, because you're gonna to wanna to learn how to make this bow. So let's get started. All right, so let's get ready for this tutorial, and I'm gonna get my ultimate collapsible mesh roller all together actually it's called the mesh holder this is the behind the scenes guys this is the view that i have from when i work i like this mesh roller and i want you to learn more about it if you have a hard time with your mesh stain put when you cut it with like the wood burner this is a great product and the um link to get one is down below they have all different signs now we're going to cut our mesh at 15 inches long and i also got that little wood burner stand from them as well. So let's get started. This is actually a tutorial we did about a year ago, but we're gonna do it with a different twist today. So we're gonna take 15 inch and we are going to put the roll side down and we are gonna use my Probo 4-in-1 to hold our mesh together while we get this ready. Then I'm gonna take the second piece of mesh. This is another roll again. I will share the links for this stuff. It's from the reshop down below in the description box and we're going to do the curl. So the first thing is we did the cruffle and then we did a curl. So we're gonna do it again. So let's roll it up and gather it with the curl side down on this one. And then we're gonna take our softer mesh and we're going to do the curl side up and we are going to roll it a little bit on each side and then gather it and put it on top of each other. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to put it all together. You can do one of two things. We're gonna take a 16 inch wreath form here and we are gonna zip tie a bundle on and we're gonna do it between the second and third wire, okay? So you could use a zip tie, but you could also use pipe cleaners. But guys, I didn't have any white pipe cleaners, so I do use them later, but they're like sparkly. And you're gonna see how I'm gonna do this. So I put one on each of the brackets. There were six brackets on this wreath form. And then I put one in between the brackets. And then the third time through, I had enough mesh that I could put another one between the brackets. So all in all, we did, um, 18 of these little poofs and we did two in the middle of each bracket and one on the bracket so that's what you're going to need for this wreath if you want a more in-depth detailed um, tutorial on this method i will also leave the tutorial that we used last year and when we did it we actually did it with some ribbon I'm in my studio and I know we're taking a little break from the actual tutorial that we are doing here on YouTube, but I wanted to fill you in on what's going on with Julie's Wreath Boutique. Specifically me, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about me. I'm turning 50 guys. This is April, 2024. If you're watching this at a later date, I'm so sorry, but this is my 50th birthday. Am I excited about it? Not really, but that's okay. We're gonna get past that. But I wanted to offer you some 50% discounts on things of Julie's Wreath Boutique. Number one is my premium tutorials. That's kind of how I got my start in teaching people how to make wreaths. And all of these premium tutorials are things that we don't teach here on YouTube. They are videos that you will be able to watch. They will have a supply list. And right now, I've never offered 50% off on them ever, but you can go to my website. The link will be down in the description box for you at juliesreathboutique.com. The second thing is Julie's Crafting Boutique. Now, I know I've talked about it a little bit here on YouTube, but what you need to know is because I'm turning 50, I'm giving 50% off for anybody who wants to join. So if you're interested in a crafting experience that's a little bit more personalized, we do two lives a month, 
We do them down here in the studio. We chit chat, we go slowly. I make sure that you are catching up and you craft with me. Much different experience here on YouTube, okay? So if you wanna get in on that, it's 50% off. So you just need the coupon code 50 off and that makes it like $7.49 for your first month. So what are you waiting for? I want you in Julie's Crafting Boutique and check out the Julie's Wreath Boutique premium tutorials on my website. And now you can get back to your regularly scheduled program. Now that that's over with, I want you to go to Dollar Tree and grab one of these sun visors in the car section at Dollar Tree. Yeah, we're going to craft with it. And we are going to take my 24 inch um, O ruler. It's really made for quilting, but I use it with wreath making too. And I'm going to cut a section. So this is like six inches by 24 inches, I believe. But we're just going to do it the length of the um, actual, you know, car visor. And we're going to set that to the side and we're going to show you how to make a bow with this. Now, now that I opened it up because we cut it on the end there, we're going to do one more because we want a separate, um, one for our green fabric. And so you're gonna have some leftovers with this and see, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect in crafting. I'm gonna take some of my fabric and I cut it a little bit bigger than the previous piece. Now here's the key with this. You do not want to hot glue on the white side. It will disintegrate. And it, it's really temperamental. This is, guys, this is not, it's from Dollar Tree. So let's be honest, it's not going to be amazing stuff but it's going to get the job done and it's small enough that it does make it work now i was inspired to do a bow like this by um, someone that i follow on instagram and on youtube here and i would love for you to give her a follow their account is called sweet red poppy she's on youtube instagram facebook all the places and she made I think it was over Christmas time, she made this huge life-size, beyond life-size bow. Now, it was amazing. It truly was amazing. I think it took her like 25 hours to make. But I thought to myself, why couldn't I make a smaller version of something sort of like that? Now, is this as good as hers? No, absolutely not. But you're gonna see how we're just gonna like wrap a little present and we're gonna glue this all together. Now, if you wanted to cover this whole thing with fabric on both sides, you could. You're really, you're not going to see it. So I, that's why I didn't use fabric and I didn't have a lot left. And then we're going to do the same thing on the green. Okay. So we have the two pieces here. We're going to fold them over. I could have done a better job with this, um, having it meet a little bit better. So again, my mistakes are your gains because you won't make those mistakes. So I, I needed to kind of meet these better. And I think I don't I would not overlap them like I did right here. I would meet them together. So next time, do that. It'll it'll save a little bit of um, too much like um, bulk in your bow. So don't overlap them, just meet them and glue them down. That's what I want you to do. So again, my mistake is your reward here. <laughs> But this was a really fun bow. It kind of remind me of the bows we used to wear as kids, like little house in the prairie bows. So you're going to fold these over and I kind of did it like accordion style. Like I was like working on it to kind of bring it together. You're gonna to have to just work with this, okay? But you're going to put a zip tie around it and you're gonna do it for both sides here. So once you get one done, you're gonna do the second one. I think this is gonna show you a little bit better. I just decided to fold these over a little bit and kind of do the accordion fan. You know how we used to make fans as kids? Yeah, that's what we're doing here. And then you're gonna connect the two peach colored bows together because we wanna make a bigger bow and then we wanna put a smaller bow on top of it. So this can be a little tricky, but again, you're not gonna overlap the pieces like I did, okay? I, t I Trust me, it'll help. So on this point, we're gonna take our bows together here and we're gonna just add a little bit of glue. And you can kind of see my bulkiness here. So I took this, I used this um, pipe cleaner and I end up snipping it off here at the end, but it just kind of held it together. Again, don't overlap like I did. Meet them in the middle, okay? Um, I decided this was gonna be a little too big, so I cut the um, edges off. It's okay, it really, it didn't really matter, okay? <laughs> we're going to do the same thing and we're gonna put that over top of our little peach um, 
bow behind it. So, oops, I guess I needed another glue stick. Oh, you have to put new glue sticks in, guys. You just have to. So you're going to fold this and you're going to add this on top and you're gonna take a big old zip tie, a big one, that's what I use. So once you get that big zip tie around the center of your bow, you're gonna secure it really good. And this is when I decided I really didn't need the um, pipe cleaner. And honestly, I wanted to use a wire here to go underneath so that I can connect the center part. So I took my little iron here, this is just my little Cricut iron and it was in my studio. I wasn't gonna go upstairs to get the big one. But we're going to iron a piece of that fabric that we had to do the bottom. So you just do this and then you're gonna take it over top. This is when I cut out the, uh, you know, the pipe cleaner. And then we're gonna take our piece of wire and we're gonna get, run it underneath that zip tie. All right, so that's gonna hold on to the wreath form a little bit better anyways. And this was a pretty heavy duty wire I used. So we're gonna do this like we do all of my different types of bows like this. We're gonna bring it around the center and we're just going to do one little slip knot here. And then we will twist our wire around it and cut off the excess. So once you get it all together, you're gonna to cut off the excess and now it's time to prep our sign. Isn't she cute? I love her and I think she'll hold up to the weather pretty good. So I got this sign from the reshop, but you know what? I don't know that they have a lot of them left. So you can do any color here. So go shop at the reshop and it'll you'll find some good stuff, I promise. So this is my little trick. I like to use this electric staple gun that I get at Amazon and I take these little popsicle sticks and I make it a little bit higher just so that I'm I'm not running that staple gun through the sign. It's really important. I did that about three times. Now we're going to kind of hang the sign about from the two o'clock point of your wreath to the five o'clock point on your wreath and you're just going to attach it on the back and um, twist it and make sure that you cut off any excess wire. We don't want to scratch any doors. And then we're gonna get our bow out, guys. It's pretty much that easy. So make sure you have your sign on really good. And then let's get our bow on this wreath. Okay, so let's put our bow. I put it on around the, between 10 and 11 o'clock on your wreath. But guys, you can do whatever you want. There's so many different options you could do with this wreath, but I really wanted to kind of show you how to make this bow, because I feel like it really pops on the wreath. And I know a lot of people are making far better huge bows that are absolutely beautiful and I know there's probably sewing involved this is just an easy DIY thing that you can do go to the Dollar Tree pick up a car visor I did pick one up from like their regular um oh car auto parts store and guys it was way too thick so um, I wouldn't recommend spending the money I spent 15 bucks and didn't even use it so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave me a peach down below in the comments if you watched this far. But this one was so much fun to make. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wreath. It's a great basic wreath mesh combo that you can use for any type of wreath. But I love the bow. I love the sign. You can get all the supplies, most of them, from the wreath shop. But listen. I want to craft with you. So whether you craft with me here on YouTube or you want to join Julie's Crafting Boutique, I want to see you here every Sunday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye.